Okay, it's, um, I don't even know what day it is. It's in April. So I can tell you, of 2010, or 2010, however you want to say it. Uh, I think it's the 15th. Yeah, it's tax day, of course. It's the 15th of April, 2010. Anyway, I thought I'd do an update on the video. Uh, we've just been kind of just uh, maintaining the truck. Uh, we finally got those brackets fixed, although I've got to do one more uh, wheel alignment on it. I just was in a hurry, so I done them. One of those set to tow and let it go type alignments just to get me by till uh, I can get around to doing a proper four wheel alignment on it. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to do this one to show everybody that uh, I really am using this as a work truck. I had to get a load of sand. Where we're going to put our little uh, above ground pool at right here beside the patio of our house. And I just wanted to show everybody that. Uh, I really am using this truck as a work truck. As you can see, she has got a ton, literally a ton of sand on it right now. Now there was a guy that emailed me this week. Uh, he wanted to know how I'd done these fender wells. Well, I'll say this much. I don't like the way my fender wells turned out, to be honest with you. But uh, they don't look pretty, but I guess they work. They do their function, but they are far from looking pretty. So I'm gonna take some shots better shots of how they turned out as you can see we put the crown vic fender wells in here now the reason why we cut out the the original fender wells to start with is there was just simply not enough space uh, for the uh, all the components so you got this cruise control um, unit right here we got the ECU right here we had to wind up mounting there Behind that is a, a relay uh, box, uh, and then got, got our air cleaner with our mass airflow sensor and all that. You got your uh, wiring harnesses uh, right here, and the battery, of course. Got another fuse box right here, a cooling reservoir right here, and we also have uh, still got to add the, the air condition hoses, which I still haven't added that yet with the new receiver dryer for the AC, and it's. Alabama in the middle of uh, April, so we're starting to get where we need the air conditioner out here, so I'm going to start working on that. But, um, like I said, I'm just not too pleased with how it turned out. As you can see, we got gaps here and there. Probably if I had more time and money, I could have made it look better or could have built something better. And I may diddle with it some more and try to fill in some of these gaps we got going here, but they kind of serve the purpose. They at least keep the... Uh, make a place for everything to mount at especially since they come off of Crown Vic so there's that but anyway as you can see I'm not not exactly proud of how they turned out but they they function at least um, if it was a show truck I definitely would not want this set up so uh, if any of y'all do this kind of conversion um, I don't know you might could use some fender wells off a of late 70s uh, F100 or something don't know I know they're they're more rounded off like this instead of straight and flat like the fender wells was on this one uh, one other item I want to let everybody know about before I sign off here one other problem I've had with this thing and you can't see because it's all the stuff's in the way is the power steering pump now I just used a 97 model power steering pump I, oh well yeah 97 off, off, off the 97 donate uh, donor vehicle I had uh, of course, you know I've got about three or four different cars in this thing from various years. Um, if you do this conversion with the Crown Vic front end and the rack and pinion steering, do not use anything from uh, as far as a Crown Vic goes uh, earlier than the 03 model. Uh, some of you people who do this conversion may you want to retain the, the engine the truck had in, like a 302 or a 360 or 390, whatever these your truck has in it. Uh, do not use that power steering pump that went with that thing because uh, they don't pump enough pressure for these rack and pinion steering setups to hold up properly. I right now have got one for an 04 Crown Vic on order. The parts store should have it in by now. We're going to do that. My power steering assist has just about gone out altogether. We tried sticking another pump on it. had the same problems. These pumps for these Pittman steering setups do not pump enough for the rack and pinion setup that's on these things. So, that was one lesson I had to learn the hard way. Some of the other people I've seen that done these conversions, they were using old pumps, so I assumed it was okay, but you know what they say about assuming. 
So I just want to let y'all know if you do this conversion, make sure you get a pump that is set up for rack and pinion steering. Well, I uh, about chattered enough here. If anybody has any more questions, y'all know how to reach me on YouTube or wherever. And uh, I will sign off right now. Any questions, comments, or criticisms, uh, constructive criticisms, I uh, greatly welcome. Thank you.